uh, you know, go off and, and, and discover something that is just around the corner. Just the find of exploring, I think that's like the kid's little dream. Uh, and to have that as a work, that's not too bad. And that's why I kind of enjoy doing this and continue to uh, definitely sign up for the exploratory trips. That's what I live for. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic and facing an ongoing closure of the marine national parks, we at Nautilus Liverboard remembered our roots of exploring and venturing out into the unknown in order to find new places. Places which very few people have seen before and which someday could become the new hotspots for scuba diving in Mexico. Our latest expedition, led by Nautilus legend and dive veteran Stan, the Viking Johansson from Sweden, brought us up to the northern Pacific coast where nutrient-rich cold currents prevail and the unexpected can cross your path at any time. We also heard rumors of shipwrecks and especially a sunken submarine, which none of us has ever seen before. I've been working now for 25 years. Uh, I've been a bit of a vagabond my whole life and I always like to see what's a little bit around the corner, get off the beaten track and explore a territory that will be, well, not a schedule, uh, a lot of patience, uh, see what's around next corner where we haven't been before. Uh, that's the characters, so uh, yeah, finding something new. These trips are for people that uh, want to do something that is a bit off the normal beaten track. It's maybe not for the bucket list people or something that is already arranged who can have. Uh, have to expect uh, changes of schedules, weather, uh, and take it as it comes. And be curious. There's a lot of different kind of currents that's coming in, a lot of nutrition. There's a lot of life, a lot of variation, uh, but it needs to be searched for as well. Remember about the sea lions. These are not the sea lions of Los Islotes. They're a little bit more bold sometimes, a little bit more wild. So definitely if you have a bull showing teeth, blowing bubbles, we just go back from where we came from. These waters that were coming up a little bit further up here, sometimes it can get a little bit colder than lukewarm. Uh, it means pretty fresh, even for someone like me coming from Sweden and diving a wetsuit. Uh, mentally how you deal with it, just deal with it. Honestly, if you're starting to feel cold, then it's about the time to move up. Just do a shorter dive and enjoy the time that you can. My first kelp was up in the Channel Islands quite a few years ago and you know when the kelp is going up you have the sun coming down you don't need to go down to the bottom you kind of just like flying in the midwater uh, there's a lot of life in there it feels like you almost like a dream that you're you're flying in the forest uh, that's what I like but it's just the light for planning an expedition like that what you can go through depends on like this trip that we're doing, we're looking for wreck, looking for history. It requires us a lot of patience and uh, luck and a lot of research. I heard about it some years ago and I kind of been trying to find something out, but now when we really were going there, I had a friend, thank you Thomas, who was giving me a coordinate and luckily these coordinates they were right.
Should be coming up there shortly. There's some fish. How's it looking on the chart? Yeah, we used it in our bow. We should see it very, very soon. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. There it is. There yeah. it is, guys. See it? That's it. That's the submarine. That's the submarine. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of fish on there. Yay! How deep is it? Uh, well, 15 meters on okay. the sand, about. Clear. Bellamy, okay. Bellamy, this is Martin. Stench just gone down. Stench just gone down to the sub. Over. So, about the sea wolf that I've been reading about, you know, sometimes when you find it from an article, you try to imagine when you come into the place, like where it was, what the winds was, what maybe a person, a captain or a sailor was thinking and with that combination with coordinates were very often all wrong uh, and a lot of luck and, and a lot of search uh, we, we managed to find it. So fun diving a wreck. That was fabulous, really cool. One of the highlights of the trip for sure. The, the other wreck that we found that was not expecting to, to find at all, we were aiming for the sea wolf that sank for a hundred years ago, was the independence. Found it! <laughs> independence! <laughs> Four huge boilers of shitload of fish of playing sea lions. In that article, uh, it was reading about that the captain took for mistaken that he saw whales, but these were actually rocks. And we were diving down in the, this South Cape, and I was kind of thinking about, well, that looks like a breaching whale thing. So in the briefing, we're talking about it, and in the end of the dive, we found four huge boilers of independence, 100 and almost 170 years ago. It went on ground, put on fire, 150 lives went down with it. Also like on a place like this, like the exploratory trip, we have the possibility to try to go and scan for seamounts. Seamounts brings in food and brings in animals. And on the, this trip we were lucky to see two superpods of common dolphins. When I'm saying superpods, we're talking about, you can't count the number. I think the biggest one was somewhere in between maybe 3,000 to 5,000 animals. And with them, we also had orcas. We're still discussing if they were transient orcas or Offshore orcas, there's a bit of a difference that transients are going for mammals and the offshores are eating sharks. There's marlins, we saw breaching sharks. There's a lot of stuff that you can see on the way, so not just lay down into the sofa and read the book when we're going out there. I think we, a lot of times now when we're going out, you know, there's so many boats, but exploring this and exploring that is actually not much of exploring. It's, it's already been going over there, you see that and that, you know, it, it kind of repeats itself. Uh, we are, as modern people, I think we're very impatient. Even on the exploratory trip, it's like, every day is not going to be fantastic. Need patience, slow down a little bit more and live a little bit more into the present, in the moment, not only for the big stuff all the time. That's what I think. I think we're running around too fast, should slow down, including myself. <laughs>